a prime example of this is like Intellipax and uh, Carrier large commercial RTUs, like a 50N series, right? All of that, all of those controls are built into the, the unit. The only thing automation is doing is reading what the unit says it's reading. It's just pulling points via a communication bus. And then it's writing to it, hey, please run a supplier temperature of 55. And oh, by the way, would you also turn on while you're at it? And maybe I'd like a static of one inch. That's about it. I mean, th there are other things the automation can do, but a lot of them, that's really all they have to do anymore. Uh, now, this is not a blanket statement across the board, but in a lot of applications, and the further down the road we go in this, it's going to become this way. Uh, another prime example is uh, especially mini splits and VRVs. Uh, specifically, VRV systems have central controllers from the manufacturer. Like LG uses AC Smart, and uh, Daikin has what they call the Touch Manager. And these are central control systems that tie in and communicate with all the other units in the building to where they don't even need an automation company to come in and do anything. It's all, it, technically, it's all mechanical.